I will add that. But for now, I'm keeping this. <laughs> I got sidetracked. Okay, for um, concealers, I have the Tarte Shape Tape. And this one is in, I don't know what color this is actually. Medium. This is medium. And um, I recently got this when I was at Sephora because my daughter was there. And they had these in like a little bin and it was cheap. So I was like, oh, found, I'm a um, concealer. So I got this one even though I don't really use it. And when I do, I use it like under my eyes or just on like little spots. So, But I'll keep that. So I'm keeping that one. And now, this is Cheek Color from Glossier. And it has a six month expiration date. I know it's been longer than six months since I had this. So, I will have to let it go. Even though I did like it, it's very cute. Um, this is a Cloud Paint Seamless Cheek Color Dawn. It's in the color Dawn, so it's kind of like a Kind of an orange color, actually. I can't say that. Um, so yeah. Um, but yeah, I noticed that when I tried it last time, I, the color is really cute, but it's a little bold, but it's very cute. But like I say, it's old, so I will get rid of this one. And let's go to this this is a lip paint a glossy lip paint from Tarte Tartist the color it does not say I can't find the color but it's a glossy lip paint actually I'll keep this this is great for nude um, for like a nude lipstick so I'll keep that one this is Uh, it says Tata Harper and this is like illuminating eye cream and it has diamond radiance this is really good it's um this is a sample but this is I think Tata Harper and you put it around your eyes and it brightens your eyes so this is a really good product. I will keep this. Um, I probably need to get a new one, but I'll keep that for now. Because sometimes you need, you want your eyes to be brighter. I have this makeup all over me now. <laughs> um, <laughs> anyway, I'll have to wash this off later. But I noticed it on the camera. I'm like, oh, this makeup is all on me. I've been swatching everywhere. All right, so next thing is Fenty. And this is Matchstick Redique. <laughs> I don't know how to say that. Is it Redique? Redique? But yeah, Fenty Beauty. And this is like a, a nice blush color. What do you say for blush? I do like blush. Um, yeah, so that's Radique, I think it says Radique. R I D. Okay, okay. It's like an orangey color. It's an orangey color. Alright, so I keep that. And, oh gosh. This one is a Fenty Beauty. Um, it has Mean Money and Hustler Baby. <laughs> Hustla Baby. Mean Money and Hustla Baby. Freestyle Highlighter Duo. So this is the highlighter um, set. And... Ah, oh, there it goes. I don't know if you can see it. You can see the dust on my mirror. <laughs> but yeah, I'll keep this one. I like the highlighters. So I'll keep that one. All right. Next we have Translucent Deep. This is the only powder I have. It's a Cover FX as a sample, and it's Translucent Deep. So I will keep the powder because that's all I have for face powder. 
All right, so Tarte, oh, yeah, this needs to go. This is Colored Clay Under Eye Corrector, which I used to love. Um, it's an under eye corrector, but it's old. It's old, and I can't use that anymore on my face. So I will get rid of that. Um, this is Elf. This is a blush in Rose Royalty. And I love it. It's like a cream blush. I can't, it's, uh, it's not showing the color on camera. It's not really showing the color. It's a beautiful color, but it's like, it's a rose color. It's like a, a nice creamy rose color. And I love this. I've been wearing this a lot, actually. The e.l.f. products can be really nice um, for like blushes. Uh, I usually like the blushes, uh, put it that way. And so I'm keeping that blush. Then I have Tarte. This is um, Amazonian Clay 12 Hour Blush. And I like this also. Um, I haven't used it much. You can't see the color. Yeah, not really. But um, I'm keeping that one. And then I have Tarte, and it's a 12-hour highlighter. So I have the 12-hour blush, and then I have the 12-hour highlighter. Oh, I love this highlighter. Um, you can't see it. But I love this highlighter. It is Stunner. It's called Stunner. Oh, the blush. Oops. Wow. The blush is called Party. 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 There's like three A's. So it's Party. That's the color of the blush. And it's like a rose color. And I like that. Okay. This one is the highlighter. So this one's the highlighter and this one's called Stunner. So yeah, it's it's nice. I like that one. Alright, now we have Becca. Oh, I used to like this highlighter, but it is oh wow. It just came out. Look what happened. It just, <laughs> I did like this and all of it came out. So I guess that will be decluttered. But it was Becca. And it was opal. And it's old. And that's why it just came out onto the napkin. So we will put that to rest. Alright, that made that decision for me. Um, this is Sung Hoon. And my daughter gave this to me. I you can't see it. but Wow, it's not letting me see it at all. This is Sung Hoon. Um, I think it's a Korean brand. And that's a beautiful red lipstick. Yes. If you like red, this is beautiful. The color is... Mm, it's a natural red. It's called a Soon... I'm sorry, Soon Jung. Soon Jung. I said Soon Hoon. I don't know why I said that. Soon Jung. And this is Sung Jung Lip Balm in a natural red. And so, like I say, it's a beautiful red color. And I will definitely keep that. I like that one. That's a new addition. She didn't like the red, and I, I do, so she gave that one to me. All right, and this is just a lip gloss. I figured I'd keep this for backup. It hydrates, softens, multivitamin. It's called Broadway. Uh, Vita Lip Mango Butter Lip Gloss. So it's just it's just a basic lip gloss. Um, it's clear, so it's just great over any lipstick. I'll keep that. That's new. Uh, this one was given to me by my daughter as well. It's another like lip gloss. This one's in Magic, and this is Tower Twenty Eight. You can see it. It's um, Tower Twenty Eight. And um, 
It's just a uh, lip gloss. So I'll keep that one as well. I can never have too many lip glosses. I, I like lip glosses. So. Um, I don't even know what this is. Grand Lips Plumper. It's a lip plumper. Have I even used it? I don't even know how to open it, so that shows I haven't used it, so I will declutter that. This is Nivea hand, Nivea, mm, sorry, <laughs> Nivea cream. It's just a, I use it for my hands. It's, oh, it smells good. I forgot how good Nivea cream smells. Ooh, it smells nice. I like it. <laughs> I'll keep the Nivea cream. All right, let's wind this video down. Oh, 38 minutes, wow. So I have some trial perfumes here, and this is Dolce & Gabbana in a light, I think it says light blue. I haven't used, you know what, I used to use perfume every day, cologne and perfume, I used to use it every day, and like I say, since pandemic I haven't been using it, but I do, oh that smell. oh that smells good, I will keep that, <laughs> I will keep that, and I will start using perfumes again. And colognes again. This one, obviously, I have loved. There's like just a little bit left. This is Burberry. It's my Burberry and it's blush. It's called Blush. Yes. I like that one. So that's Burberry. I will keep that. This one is Versace and it's Bright Crystal. And I think it's old because last time I, I, oh, last time I smelled it, I didn't like the smell. Hmm. Actually, it smells different. It doesn't smell good on me. I'm not quite sure about that. You know what? It smells different today. Maybe my my nose is different today i will keep it actually it's growing on me okay this one is a burberry it's my burberry and this one is oh this is blush also i didn't know i had a backup so this is blush i'm almost done with this one so ooh, i can use this one next i didn't know it was the same one okay i'm excited about that because i love the burberry blush i love it love it love it that was my scent before pandemic, every time I went out, people knew I would have that on. They would smell that as well as my coconut cream I would wear on my hair. So, yeah. Um, this one is Tom Ford, and this is Black Orchid. And I love that. I tend to wear both men's cologne and women's perfume. I'm one of those women that if it smells good, it smells good. I don't care if it's a man's cologne or if it's a woman's perfume, I will wear it. So um, I do have some like samples that are, are men's cologne that I smell and I'm like, oh, it smells so good. So since I, I don't have <laughs> a significant other, as they say, um, I don't wait to purchase a cologne or a perfume for someone else if i like the smell of it then i will buy it for myself and then i can smell it on me all day instead of you know waiting for someone else to have it so anyway like i said oh, this one smells so good though this is tom ford black orchid i like this and i'm not sure i think this might be um either or type of cologne um I'm not sure it's men's, but it's, it has a more of a, a masculine scent to it. Uh, so I, I do like that one as well. I have different scents and it just depends on my mood, which one I will wear. So sometimes I might like the stronger scent of the Tom Ford, the more masculine scent. And then sometimes I like something more feminine, more floral. Um, and then my Burberry, the blush actually, um, I tend to like that one all the time so it's something about the formula and I need to research it but it's something about that formula that I really like all right so next one is oh this is one that was given to me by my daughter it's a Korean um, perfume and I don't know the name of this one mm, is it Eloria 
Elleria, Elleria. And this scent is water. This is a water scent. So they had fire, earth, water, and air. And so this is the water scent. And I like that. It smells really nice. All right. The last one I have here. Yes. <laughs> is to is it Toka? And this is Stella. It, oh, see, this is more of a, a feminine scent that I really like. Um, it's Toka and I think it's Stella. And I would keep this in my bag. Um, if you ever need like just to freshen up and you want um, you want a you know to put on some perfume and freshen up a bit this is what I would keep in my bag it's a roll-on so it's easy it's easy to get this on you don't have to spray it you just roll it on and um, so yeah I'll keep that as well so I didn't get rid of much from my makeup container I still have uh, the bottom part and so let's see if I get rid of anything. And the bottom part is just my brushes. And so I have this brush that I use. It's actually sturdy. I need to clean this one. I use this one for a shadow, eyeshadow. Um, this is a, I use this one for brows. It's a brow wand. So this is a tart. This is tart. And this one is um, Elf. And so I do use that. I'll keep that. I'll keep this one. Um, this is a mascara, like a comb for mascara. And then a brush. Hmm. I don't use this. I really don't. So I'll get rid of this one. This is VIP Rouge and it's Sephora and I use this for my blush. I like this as a blush brush. This one is Tarte and um, I use this for foundation as well as um, a foundation. I use this for foundation. A lot of times I may use my hands for the foundation but if not I'll use this brush. Um, or a beauty blender it just depends I don't have a beauty blender now but um, I do like this brush it's a very nice brush it's like a boar bristle um, I think it's boar bristles anyway I got this a long time ago when I purchased Amazonian clay the Tarte foundation which didn't work well for me it was a little too thick but um love the brush all right and this is another Tarte brush that I would use for powder for my face powder um, and contour and so I'll keep that one this one is another Tarte brush mm, I'll keep it I think it could come in handy so I'll keep that one all right so we're keeping these I'll just stick them up here for now this is Eco Tools. I used to use this for concealer, and I, but I have this one for concealer as well. So this one is more fine, and this one is thicker. So this one would be great, like under the eyes, and this one if you want like little spot concealing. So I may keep both of those. Um, this is a smudge eye sponge. I don't really do a lot with this, so I'm going to get rid of this one. Um, and the last brush that I have is this one, which is Tarte as well. And this would be good for eyeshadow. Uh, but, okay, I'm keeping both of these because this is more fine for concealer, and this one is like when you're doing like a wider concealer, so I'll keep both of those. Now that I see this one, I'm deciding on... Do I need both of these? Hmm. I don't think I do. It's a good question. <laughs> um. Hmm. 
You know what? I'll keep them both for now because I think I can use one for like a highlighter and then one for um, like eyeshadow. So I, because when you're using, when you're putting on makeup, you don't want to have to clean a brush. So I'll keep both of these. And then you have tweezers, which, you know, keep that. Um, I have this, which is an eyebrow. Well, I use it to, to like, um, clean my brows, to like shape them up a little bit. So I will keep this just like an eyebrow razor. I'll keep that. Uh, this is for was for a mask that I had, and I just kept it. It's like a little spoon for a mask. Instead of using your hands, you use this, and it, you can clean this. And so it's you know, I would think it's more sanitary. So I but I have this one too. So I have a little scooper. You know what? This is wooden, but this will, I'll keep this one. This is easier to clean. So I will get rid of this one and I'll keep this one. I have two of these pencil sharpeners, which I don't even really use. Eyebrow pencils, but I'll keep one. So which one am I going to keep? Hmm. I'll keep the elf one and I'll get rid of this one. All right, so I don't even know what this is for. This is, if I don't know, I'll get rid of it. <laughs> so that's gone. And then I have this, which is, I guess you do it like that. Ah, and I need to clean that. This is a lipstick. I forgot. This is a lipstick brush. That would have been helpful <laughs> today. Anyway, I forgot I had this. I need to clean this. But yeah, so you just, it's e.l.f. lip brush. So you just, um, you take off the top, you put it on the bottom, and that pushes up the brush. So this is actually great for in your purse. I need to clean this and put it in my purse. So I'll keep that. And then this is um, like a very fine eyeliner brush and I don't wear eyeliner so I don't need it I'll get rid of that as well all right we're done <laughs> this video is very long so we shall see if I condense it if you see it and it's 50 minutes that is the actual time if you see it and it's not 50 minutes then I have condensed it <laughs> or you may see this video in two parts so you may have saw uh, have seen the video break up like without warning and this may be a whole three-part series <laughs> anyway i'm done let's put all of the items i'm keeping back in so i'm putting my brushes so this is the um the container i'm putting my brushes back in the bottom and I will put my my hand cream in here. Um, I think that's all I'm sticking in the bottom. Okay. So that's what the bottom is looking like now. All right, and it's shaking around, <laughs> but you can see it. That's all I have in there now. All right, and then for the top. Part, we are going to put all of the other stuff in there. So, let's see if I get that on there. Okay, so the sunscreen, that, foundation. Perfumes, 
which are very narrowed down. I used to have a lot of perfumes and colognes. Um, I do have a lot of samples uh, that I did not show, but I have about 10 samples. And I, I just thought about those, but I'll keep those because they're samples and I want to try them, see if I like them. So now I'm just organizing this stuff in here. And we'll put all the lipsticks over here and the concealer in here. And I show. space in here now so I don't know what to do about that I have more space how about I put um, some of these over here and then I can anyway I can do this off screen so we will Show you the final result here. Okay, so there we go. This is all. Let me put the camera. On. This is all I'm left with now, and um, I'll try to organize this better because stuff is falling now. It was, you know, nicely. but now I'll have to organize it again <laughs> that's what I'm left with that's all my makeup and everything and then these are all the things that I got rid of so we have this <laughs> um, highlighter that it basically it's just it broke up so the highlighter here these are two brushes this is like a spoon I'll just put all these things here and then we'll and this is stuff from the last one so I'm going to include all of this together to show how much I have accumulated to get rid of Ugh, that was sticky this is sticky Ooh, this stuff right here was sticky okay so that's it this is all of the items that i am getting rid of so we have here one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty and twenty one twenty one items decluttered from my bathroom cabinet from my makeup and some of my other bathroom items so um that is really that's good actually i didn't think i had that many items to declutter so i'm, I'm really excited about that all right that's it for today um thanks again for visiting my channel i do have a video where i did a thrift with me um, I did that one, actually I, re I recorded it yesterday, and that was a fun trip. I was looking for jeans and um, chunky sweaters, or like the sweaters, the, the baggy sweaters that have the buttons up here, but it's like a v-neck sweater, but it has buttons. I call them the collegiate sweater, or the professor sweater, but um, I'm not sure exactly what you call them. So, I will post that video as soon as I edit it because it's long and I'm new to editing so this will be fun so I'm not exactly sure when that video will go up but I do have a thrift with me video coming I did find a few items and I'm excited about those items and I also um, have a couple of items that I have decluttered so um, you know, when I put something on, if, if it's too difficult to put on, or if it 
doesn't feel good once I get them on or throughout the day if they bother me if I have to keep adjusting them like you know doing like this or adjusting or pulling or um or fidgeting with them then I, I I tend to get rid of it and so there are some items in my closet that I haven't really worn all day um and so I'm testing them out and I did get rid of one item that um I hadn't worn all day I, I've worn it for like an interview in the past and then I worn it once after that so I never wore it all day and I did that the other day and I was like oh I can't take it and so I got rid of it and I actually gave it to my daughter she likes it so um, I passed it along to her but the other item I just couldn't tolerate anymore and you'll see which item that is in my next video but this video is an hour long <laughs> And like I say, you probably will see a condensed version or this part, this second part will be actually broken up into another part. So um, thanks again for visiting my channel. I um, appreciate you taking the time to look at my videos and I would hope that um, you would subscribe. That's the first time I said that actually. I was like, oh, I never say that. But um, if you're interested, it would be nice if you subscribed and uh, and um, leave a comment. Just be nice. <laughs> and that's it. I hope you have a wonderful day. And I look forward to talking with you soon. When I declutter something else or when I talk about simple living or something else that relates to minimalism or my, my like I say, my, um, the foods that I eat and, and why I stopped eating certain foods. Uh, I will do a video on, on that one day. Um, and like I say, I think I've been a little hesitant because it's not for, um, it's for health reasons that I switched my diet. And um, of course, outwardly, there's a benefit to eating healthy, but it, that wasn't my focus. My focus was for health reasons and allergy reasons. Um, my daughter has allergies, so that's why I changed a lot of my diet. But um, to correlate to hers, since I was doing the cooking uh, most of the time. All right. But like I said, that's on another video. I hope you have a wonderful day, wonderful night, wherever you are. And I look forward to talking with you soon. All right. Bye-bye.